All right, Shalom Wam, Shalom Wam to the elect of the nation of Israel. Before I get started, I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Kakwadash. Double honors to my apostles, my elders of great millstone, who lead, teach, and rule well. Love and honors my fellow I can push the word in true faith and sincerity across the four corners. Shalom Wam, peace and blessings to my sincere I can push the word in true faith and sincerity across the four corners. It's Brother Yadav from GMS Land Church coming with another lesson through the Spirit, power, and mercy, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. That's going to be entitled Prophecy is Power. You know, because you got to think about it, man. Like, um, thought just came to mind just right right then as I was just opening up the lesson. Um, that movie, Back to the Future. You know, Back to the Future. I remember, I can't remember which movie it was. I think it was the second one. Because it was the end of the first one going to the second one. Um, I know I'm kind of going in a tangent, but it's going to come back to my point. Um... I think his name was Griff, uh, Marty Marty McFly's like arch nemesis or whatever his uh, you know main opposition. But there was one scene in the movie that he um, that he took a sports almanac. So pretty much he had went into the future, took a sports almanac, and then came back, went back into the past, and uh, had that sports almanac. So he was able to become super, super rich off making sports bets because he already knew what was going to happen. You see what I'm saying? He already, for example, let's say, I'm just using for example, for those who haven't seen the movie, let's say the year was 1980 and he went to the year 2020. He took an almanac from 2020 and then went back to 1980. So he had 40 years of knowing every sports outcome that was getting ready to happen over that time span. So he was able to become rich. Same with us. We actually, the scriptures is actually, the scriptures, the Holy Bible being a prophetic book, we know, we don't, we know the understanding we've been given, we know exactly what's going to happen. Do we know exactly how it's going to plan out? Do we, going back to that, um, that example of the, uh, Back to the Future, we may not know exactly what's going to happen every play, but we know the outcome, the end outcome, the score, <laughs> the score at the end of the game. We, we're aware of that. And we're just going to be the downfall of Esau Edom's kingdom and the establishment of the kingdom of heaven, which is going to be a kingdom for the Israelites. So there is power in prophecy, man, because you're going to be able to actually you. We know now what's going to happen. Like I said, we, we don't know exactly Every move, the day, you know, the, 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 the general role and people involved, we don't know all that. But we know the, the outcome, the outcome being the downfall of this kingdom, the destruction of Babylon the Great, which is America. And like I said, the establishment of the kingdom of Israel, okay, with Yahweh Shah being the top lord, man, okay? So I'm getting to this word of power. This is uh, from Adam Online. Power, the noun, it says uh, circa the, the 1300s. It says ability, ability to act or do, strength, vigor, might, okay? Especially in battle. Um, efficiency, control, mastery, lordship, dominion, legal power, or authority. And that's a point that I want to, um, to highlight. Legal power or authority because of what? Because of the covenant, okay? The covenant was given to our forefathers, which we've been, we've gone into this time and time again. The covenant was given to our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And then out of the, um, um, from Jacob, it was given to the 12 prodigal sons, okay, which um, they fathered the, each respective tribe of the 12 tribes of Israel. And that's a, that's, that's a, that's the law because it's a, it's a contract. It's a, it's a legal contract. Okay. So, because we are of that lineage from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and we have a right, okay, through lineage into that legal power or a legal contract, we also have access, as long as Yahweh Bashmi Yahweh Shah keeps the spirit on us through the Holy Spirit, we have access to prophecy in which prophecy contains an infinite amount of power. Okay, because everything, nothing happens that is not in tune with prophecy. You see what I'm saying? Um, 
so that was the point there. I'm gonna go ahead and get into the scripts. I can get, let me get, I go from KJ. Uh, yeah, so this is Luke 10. I'm gonna start with verse 18. And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you. See, so how is I saying here in which um, he was speaking to his uh, disciples then. But, you know, the things are written for time written for our learning. OK, and th and this is. Go to go into reincarnation, how there's no new thing under, under the sun, okay? But um, that Satan that's going into the nation of Edom, man, Edom Esau, falling as fast uh, as lightning, because Esau's kingdom is falling very, very quickly, okay? And it said, Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions. This is what? This, th this hasn't happened yet. Meaning that we haven't fully received this power. And even going to when Yahweh Shah was speaking to um, his apostles, they hadn't fully received the power either. This is what? This is a prophecy. Just like going into um, the whole book, man. The, the, entire <laughs> the entire Bible is a book of prophecy. Starting from Genesis Genesis 1, Genesis 2, Genesis 3, Genesis 10, Genesis 21, Genesis 25, Genesis 49. <laughs> you see, starting in Genesis up until Revelation, Revelation 22. The entire book is a book of prophecy in which what? That grants us power because we have the understanding of the end from the beginning. You see, um, continuing on. Yeah, continuing on. Um, notwithstanding in this, rejoice not that the spirits are subject unto you, but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven. That's what? Prophecy. Okay? Meaning what? There's a certain number of um, men, okay, that are written in the book of life. Through those men obtaining salvation, obtaining everlasting life, they're going to be able to, to save, okay, a great number of, uh, of our people, man, okay? Uh, continuing on, verse 21. In the hour, Yahweh Shah rejoiced in spirit and said, I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and, uh, and earth, that thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent and hast revealed them unto babes. Even so, Father, for so it seemed good in thy sight. All things are delivered to me of my father and no man know of who the son is, but the father and who the father is, but the son and he to whom the son will reveal him. And this is very important as well, because understand that there's power in prophecy. OK, the testimony of Yahweh is what the spirit of prophecy and who how can we receive the spirit of prophecy? Through the understanding of the scriptures given to us by the Holy Spirit, which all of that is ordained by the Heavenly Father. So it's important too to keep the first things first, so to speak. Keep keep you know, keep Yahweh why Yahweh Shai at the top of a uh, um of, of the ladder, so to speak, man. Because yes, we have access to understand prophecy now, but it's nothing for Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai to remove that spirit off of you. And then you can lose the spirit, uh, the spirit of prophecy, man. You can you can lose the testimony of Yahweh Shai, and that will leave you, in essence, powerless, man. Okay, and that's not you want to have some power <laughs> rolling into the time that we in. And I'm, when I say power, I mean power from Yahweh Shai, Shem Yahweh Shai. I'm not talking about power from any other source. The only power source that you really want to be plugged in and in tune with, going into the times that we walking in or continue to walking in, is the Holy Spirit, man. Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. That's it. By no, uh, no other names under the uh, heavens can we be saved by. Okay. Uh, Second Peter, one and nineteen. Matter of fact, let me get this. Yes, yeah, right. Uh, Second Peter one and nineteen. We have also a more sure word of prophecy, whereunto 
Ye do well that ye take heed as unto a light that shineth in a dark place until the day dawn and the day star arise in your hearts. That, that more sure word of prophecy is, is because of uh, uh, the sacrifice has already been laid up, man. The sacrifice has already been laid up, being, being Yahweh Shai, okay? And with us being in the last days, the seals of understanding of this book have been broken. You see? Verse 20. Knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. Verse 21. For the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, but holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. And that's why I said earlier, it's very important to, that, to understand that, yes, prophecy is power. And there's a lot of power that comes with prophecy, but also understand, too, where how we are able to access this power source of prophecy okay it's ordained and it's commanded by the heavenly father yahweh okay yahweh shah gave up gave himself as a perfect sacrifice and gave us a testimony of these scriptures and the holy spirit working with us enables yahweh why yahweh shah to uh um continue to grow our understanding through the spirit the spirit of prophecy man okay it's everything is connected i just want to make that point um before we close out that like I said, man, just remember to keep things in their proper uh in their proper perspective, man. Okay, because even though, like I said, we have this uh spirit of prophecy now, you can lose it, man. It's a, it's a spirit. Spirits can come, they can go. You see what I'm saying? So you could you could lose it. So you gotta make sure to keep fighting for it so that you can um be found worthy to to uh uh keep it, man. Okay, keep thy crown. Revelation twenty two, verse seven. Behold, I come quickly. Blessed is he that keepeth the sayings of the prophecy of this book. Once again, prophecy. Okay. And and that's what? That shows a power, right? Because it says, Yahweh Shai here, said here, yes, he's coming quickly. And it said, blessed is he. Blessed. That's a blessing. So that means what? That means that you receive a certain uh, uh, power, man. Okay. A blessing. Is he that keepeth the sayings of the prophecy of this book. And you received that power that blessing, okay, by keeping the sayings of prophecy that are contained in this Holy Scriptures, in the Holy Scriptures, man, okay? Jumping down, Revelation 22, verse 11. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still, and he which is filthy, let him be filthy still, and he that is righteous, let him be righteous still, and he that is holy, let him be holy still, and behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Okay, because what? Everything begins and ends with Yahweh Shai. Okay, like I said, like I got quoted earlier. This, the uh, uh, the testimony of Yahweh Shai, the spirit of prophecy, man. Everything is connected. Okay, um, including our salvation, man. Okay, uh, Revelation twenty two, eighteen. I'm gonna finish off with verse nineteen. For I testify unto every man that hear of the words of the prophecy of this book. If any man shall add unto these things, the Most High shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. And that's what? That's also a prophecy, which is, is what? A form and essence of power. Okay. Verse 19. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, the Most High shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city. And from the things which are written in this book. See? So it's important to stay in line with the spirit, man. Stay in line with the spirit, okay? Stay on that straight gate. Stay in order. Continue just build. Do what you got to do to build yourself up in the spirit and prepare yourself in the spirit. Remain a diligent watchman for Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah. Warn the people. Be brotherly. Just do what... The, do what the prophecy tells us to do, man. And what? That's that's the doctrine. Do what the doctrine commanded us to do, okay? Because that that's the blueprint. Like I said, if you if you know, if you got a book, and it's not even an if. We have a book that tells us the future now. There's power in that. Trust in that. You don't have to, you know, Jake, especially coming to the truth, be having that spirit of trying to get too deep, man. Trying to get too deep and bring out, you know, this and that. Like, it's yes, it's good to to get into the depths, but at the same time, don't get, try to get too deep so fast, okay? And take on something that's uh, beyond your your measure, beyond your strength, 
and you get bugged out. Okay, keep everything in line because, and I say I say that because Jay be trying to get too deep and try to show themselves to be an authority, and then they end up. And I've seen, well, I've seen, I've personally seen. I know brothers have seen it. Try to get all deep and try to be all you know. Try to be a, a, a you know a, a, a head commanding apostle <laughs> on the highways and byways, and then you end up. Add into the doctrine, add pretty much add into the doctrine or taken away from the doctrine, which is pretty much what? Add into the word, taken away from the word. Just keep it simple, man. Keep it simple. Stay in line, stay in order, and just keep on trucking in its direction because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has the nation of Israel, okay? Those who are um, uh, uh, have woken up to the spirit has this all moving in the right direction, man. We just gotta keep it going to the end, okay? So I'm ended off there. I hope and pray lesson was edifying. Once again, I want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakwadash, double honors to my apostles, my elders of Great Millstone, who lead teaching real well. Love and honor to my Aki, pushing the word in true faith and security across the four corners. Until next time, Shalom.